Hey, Sean. Hello. Yes, you're right about Twitter. That was probably the most oh moment when I was watching your video that you can only make 30 second videos on Twitter. But poor, but but poor. And the thing I don't like about Snapchat is that tomorrow in 24 hours it's gone. I just I'm I'm coming to terms with that, but it's the functionality of how to watch the stuff on on Snapchat on the app is so awesome how it like slides everyone to the top that has recently added stuff with a little green dot meaning oh if you click on them you immediately start watching all their stuff from the last 24 hours from oldest to newest which I love um, Twitter the thing about Twitter the real value of Twitter is besides the ability to just be like hey at Sean winding land um dot 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 yeah that's what i put um dot 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 and i was just like did i pronounce his last name right winding land for a while i thought it was winding land from like back in like 2009 or something i was like sean winding land and for so long i thought it was pronounced winding land and then one day i was like wait a minute that says winding land like you probably your ancestors probably came from like the hills you know like all these crazy pathways or uh anyway i'd be like hey at sean I'm still trying to figure out how to get that 700 pound weight above my head. Hashtag heavy, hashtag weight, or something. I might even hashtag. Anyway, the real value, beyond that, the real value of Twitter is the search. Because if you want to, like, say right now you made a video about internet censorship and you want that video to go viral, you want a lot of people to see it, you go to, you go to the Twitter search, you type in internet censorship. And then you go to the most recent stuff, at, which is a thing on Twitter, that you can see the most recent stuff about internet censorship. So these are all the people that just posted about it like two minutes ago, 30 seconds ago. Set, yeah. And then you just start responding to them. And it's not about like, buy my product, come look at my stuff, look at my stuff necessarily. I mean, you're, you're allowed to put a link to your thing that you're talking about, but it's about genuinely forging relationships with other people that are thinking about what you're thinking about and actively posting about what you're posting about. You can easily form groups. And that's why like the Arab Spring came out from Twitter. And a lot of like social revolution comes from that search capability, that real time hashtag search. And they make it so easy to get in touch with each other, how you can at, any, at each other. Hey, if you guys, if you don't know who Sean is, Sean Winingland is, check him out. He's like uh, esoteric genius, I guess is the, the best way I could describe it when I was trying to think of how to describe you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got real loud. I got really loud. Sometimes I'll be like this and then I'll, 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 I'll get kind of loud, you know. Um... I, I was trying to remember what you were talking about in the video. Oh, yeah, in the beginning, you were talking about the quality, like what makes it so unique is that it's professional versus chilling out. I mean, I just loved that you said that because I'd never thought of that before. And sometimes I'm like, dude, I'm pausing for too long. Is this boring for people? But it's like, you know what? If, if you have a problem coexisting... <laughs> Going, if you have a problem coexisting with me, then sorry, you know, I don't really need to waste my time trying to get, be friends with you. If, if you have some problem with me being in the same room with you, so. And if you have ex expectations, then it's your fault. I, I live my best not to have any expectations of what's coming, so that's interesting. And if the vibe's pure and true, then that's a, it's a very powerful time to be with someone, you know, when they're silent. And then you said a third thing that was really awesome. Oh, talking about mines. And about like the bug, how it's still how bulky. Yeah. It's it's both fun and frustrating being part of a bulky growing process. You know, the watching it form is like the most exciting thing and being able to be a part of it, like offering your ideas and talking with developers that are building it and they ask you your opinion on stuff and, and learning the pace, because like I'll have an ideas a minute, you know, and I'm like I've got 90 ideas about how to change it to make it look exactly like, and, and then they all laugh and they're like, you can't, you don't just, Ian, you don't just 
click your fingers and then it like appears. Like I, I got to sit down for eight hours and look at this and work on this, and then I'll probably have to work on it again tomorrow for another eight hours. And this could be like a forty hour. And I'm like, okay, okay, I get it, Mark. I'm talking about Mark Harding. Mark. Uh, and so I've learned how to work in a group uh, of develop uh, of, as like on a computer development team. It's quite interesting because. Ideas are great, but unless you're the one hard coding it, like writing the code, then you, you got to make yourself useful doing other things like community organizing, um, content creation, stuff that I love to do anyway. But I love giving ideas. If I could just like beep, bloop, beep, put in my idea, and then the website's like brrr, all of a sudden has that ability, dude, we have the best website in the world, which we probably already do. So, speaking of which, not to be redundant, but I'd love to get on a video, like a streaming video chat, like a group chat or something. So if you know a good program, let's do it. Maybe we can pressure Bill into putting it on minds like in the next few weeks or month or something. See you, man.